if you wrote it down, it wouldn't, wouldn't be believable, you know, like, it's that, it's almost a cliche, isn't it? Stuntman, career over, and, and I, you know. But I've never really thought about it, like, it, it was career over, actually, when I had the accident, like, that, that career stopped as it was. Obviously, it was a big, it was a shock at the time, and it was like a huge change in lifestyle because there's obviously a lot of things that I can't do and a lot of things I need help with. And I think one of the really big uh, hurdles that anyone in my situation has to go through is like asking for help, you know, because, you know, mountain biker, I think I can do everything. And, you know, then I think to ask for people's help a lot's one of the hard things that you have to go through. And it's lots of things like that, lots of adjustments. Um, which are really difficult, you know, really, there's no other way to describe it. It's really hard and it's, you know, sometimes like, oh my God, you just can't. My injury level is T7, so it's right here. So from there down, I can't, I can't move or feel anything. So, and it's, it, 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 to me, sounds as crazy as that sounds, you know, I, I don't get any more used to it. Um, and what that means, I remember the first day I was put into a wheelchair after I'd been on bed rest for like 10 weeks, I hadn't moved and they sat me into a wheelchair so you kind of learn to be upright and you feel like awful sick because your blood pressure's weird and you're like, you know, your body's not pumping blood around like it should. And as they were lowering me into the chair in this sling, like, you know, your backside's coming down onto the cushion of the seat. But to me, I hadn't hit the bottom yet. You know, I hadn't hit the cushion because I was kind of still that far away. That's how it is, I'm floating, you know, so if I like move anywhere, I'm like just floating in midair. And that's, that's just, this feels like someone else, you know. So when I've got my hands on the handlebars and the, the seat is holding me basically from my injury downwards, really in a strong position, I'm kind of like gliding through the air. I'm not getting the same feedback from the suspension you normally would, because you feel so much through the pedals and in your knees and, I'm not, getting, I'm not getting that feedback, I'm getting a different kind of feedback. And I don't know, it sort of feels so awesome. You're just like, like just gliding along in it. It's just the excitement of that and they're like, oh, it's I'm getting nearer to it that has driven me on. So, well, in all honesty, the, 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 the motivation for getting back on a bike and um, the, the, I've talked about it before, like the determination isn't quite as, as like, oh, I'm gonna do it, as it sounds. It's always been like, was when I was in the hospital, when my friends were coming in to visit me, myself and my friends, we were all, you know, and, and my family too, were like, I wonder how we'll do it. You know, like in the hospital, you're being told about like, you know, you're not gonna walk again, and you, you, they're teaching you to acceptance, you know, that's because that's what you need to leave hospital with, is like, you accept the situation and you're gonna m move on, you know. Um, and I've been through that thing of like, oh, you know, will I ever walk again? Because that's an obvious question. And I don't know. I don't know, you know, so, um, but I don't really think about it that much day to day. But with the riding bikes again, it literally, I, honest truth is, it was never like, oh, I'll never ride a bike. And then someone said, maybe you can, Martin. <laughs> it's just like, I guess because of the people like bike riders are, we're like, oh, I wonder if we'll do that. It was almost fun straight away. It was instantly like, I've got to learn to ride bikes again. So that's going to be like, that's going to be pretty funny. Like, how are we going to do it? I don't ever take a risk I don't feel like I'm comfortable with. I never did on my, my, my trials bike before. You know, I never did anything I wasn't 100% sure about. And, you know, when I had my accident, it was that. I had an accident. It, I, I wasn't trying some incredible stunt. Something just went wrong and that's life, you know. And, it, and I got out of it lucky, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I was still here, so I was happy. Um, I think in this situation, I've got, a, I'm a bike rider and I can't do anything about it. I did it for so long and loved it for so long. It was the sport that, that ignited my interest, you know, when I was a kid. And I, how'd you change that? You know, we all love different things, don't we? And I loved riding bikes, so I, I can't change it. And, you know, having an injury like this doesn't turn off what I think. It, it, it maybe only in like makes me want it more, you know, and, and getting it back feels like, you know, it, like when you started riding a bike, but now I really know what it meant 
as an adult, I've learned to ride a bike again a bit, and it's, you know, it feels incredible. I like it more now than I did you know, last week. The team that's got me to the point to ride down the hills, actually, you know, not just those guys riding, but obviously Lisa and Alfie are emotionally engaged in it as much as actually happen to be there and help me do it. Well, they know me more than, you know, they know what I want to do and I'm always talking about what I want to do to them and it doesn't really get much, if it was a terrible idea, it wouldn't get much further than that, you know, because they'd be like, well, hang on a minute. Like, Alfie is quite, um, it's quite, I don't know if it's the right moment to tell you something Alfie said the other day. I was um, on, sat, sat on, the, on the doorstep of my house like this looking out and Alfie's out the front and he was having to go on um, a trials bike, which he's just found in the garage. He doesn't really ride trials, he's sort of into loads of stuff. And um, he was having to go on this bike and he was doing some tricks. And he went, oh God, my glasses keep falling off. I should have put contact lenses in. And I said, you don't need to wear that. He said, your eyes aren't that bad. You don't need to wear glasses to ride. I never used to wear glasses when I rode. And he looked at me and was like, well, maybe you should have. I was like, that's a good point. <laughs> we filmed it in sort of sequence, so I did ride off the top and we were kind of like, okay, <laughs> big perks. But we were really confident about it, but you know, when you haven't done something, you're still, you know, we knew there was some like, well, I don't want to fall off. We want to have a good time, that's what we wanted. And a crash that early would have been like, uh, what were we thinking? It might have put some doubt in, and I think we all wanted to believe in it because, you know, we'd put so much effort in. So that first moment where Chris and Danny are pushing me and Blake is just down the track waiting for me to catch him up and us get going into our little group of four riders, you know, there was quite a lot of nerves there, and it had kind of built up over the day because we'd filmed the opening scene and, oh, uh, everyone's getting nervous. So yeah, we were, I think we were probably scared, not nervous, like, oh, you know, this, this is serious. But it was serious because we really wanted to have a good time. We didn't want it to be horrible because we knew, uh, they probably knew what it would mean to me if it didn't work well. The riders, uh, it's Chris Atkrig, uh, Danny McCaskill and Blake Sampson. So uh, the two guys who helped me finish Road Bike Party 2, Chris and Danny, and then Blake Sampson has basically been my one of my best friends um, who rode on the bike tour with me, uh, which is where I had my accident um, for years and years. Um, but since my accident has basically been my wingman. In the video, two people lift me on the bike. Blake will do it on his own. Just like, come here, mine. Ooh, shove me up. Go on. He's yeah, so they're three brilliant, brilliant people to have with you. And to know, you've got Blake in front of you, Danny McCaskill and Chris Eckery either side. How, how bad could it be, you know? Yeah, no, when I'm in the seat, my feet are kind of like on the pedals and I'm, they, they move still, the pedals. So when I'm hitting jumps, I still get that kind of leverage with my, with my uh, ankles, which I love. I really wanted my feet on pedals. I didn't want like stirrups or a bar. I really wanted the bike to be a bike I could look at and go, man, that is cool. You know, I really, that was really important. Um, so the, the, the electrical tapes, just kind of works. I know it looks nuts. It looks like, honestly, it's sellotape, but it's, it's all good, you know. Just take me on, go. It's awesome, it's awesome. <laughs> well, I'm back riding, so that's cool. And I think it's as open-ended as anyone riding bikes is. Riding bikes, I want to ride, you know, I want to get as many opportunities as I can to ride. Uh, I don't know much more than that other than I just want to enjoy riding my bike. I, I think that's just such an awesome thing to be able to say. I'd love to see if someone else has a go, someone in my situation, you know, that would be, that would be pretty cool because it works really great, you know, so it'd be good to see if someone else will try it. You know, I could do some quite cool stuff on it. I think so. I mean, I'm looking at downhill tracks and stuff at the moment because that's the obvious thing. So it's, you know, gravity, you know, so I, I'm looking at tracks and thinking, could I get down there? Like, a, like a, I don't know, like a, like out, a World Cup course. How, you know, what do I need to be able to do on the bike to get down one? To get down a World Cup course would be epic, you know, or, or something beyond that. But I don't know. I think the next thing is to ride with my friends and enjoy it, and and, it, and then the ideas all start coming, you know, like of what I can and can't do. But the most important thing is to ride bikes and just. 
enjoy that and you know, revel in how awesome it is. Hit some corners, all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bit lost, bit lost. Yeah, go. Yeah.